Hello and welcome to part two of the Chameleon 20 video series. Today we're going to look at how to navigate the menu and maybe some other key functions of the unit. So the first thing we probably need to know is how to turn it on. On the left side of the unit, between the charging port, which is um, on the top facing away from you, and the USB uh, port, which is in the bottom or, or facing towards you on the, part, on the part towards you, is a slightly raised button. If you hold that in and you really have to push it, especially if the um, polyurethane case is on, push it in and hold it. And then of course you'll hear it buzz. And if you can see it all, you'll, have, you'll see this LED light turn green. It takes a couple of minutes for this to power up because remember it's a not just a display it does some other things too it has like wi-fi and a and a notepad sort of feature and a calculator so it just takes a second but while it's doing that we're going to talk a little bit about what the main menu looks like okay it looks like we're there so it didn't take as long as i thought it was going to perfect i like that okay and it also tells us when when it's ready so if I'm reading the display right now, it says editor. That's the first item in the menu. And you're going to use your previous and next thumb keys to navigate the menu. So I'm going to go ahead and go down the menu and we're gonna maybe give a very brief explana explanation, excuse me, of what each one of these things is. So first we have the editor. And as I've mentioned before, it is a very basic editor. You can't do any spell checking or formatting, things like that but you can copy, paste, um, find um, an item in a, in a file, things like that, but nothing like super heavy. So I wouldn't use it to write my research paper. The next thing is uh, the terminal. So we're gonna press that next thumb key to go down. And the terminal is where you need to be if you want to connect it to another device, whether that be by Bluetooth or, um, or with a cord. So another way, just to give you a heads up to navigate this menu is a space plus the number four or the dot four, I mean. So that goes forward and space and dot one moves you backwards. So you can use the previous and next thumb keys or your space and dot one or dot four to move through the menu. And I just mentioned that as an alternative. So I, I prefer using the previous and next thumb key. Right now I'm focused on the library and the library is um, a way of getting to books that you can download from Bookshare. Uh, we're gonna go down. File Manager is the next option here. And the File Manager, of course, is where you open files from, or it's how you sort and organize your files, things like that. We're gonna go ahead and go down again to the calculator. Again, very simple calculator. It's not going to do your calculus with you or anything like that. It's just gonna be pretty basic. It's not a scientific calculator either. It's just kind of a basic one if you need to have one with you. Date and time. And this is where you would go to um, do your setting of your date and time, which we will do later. Here are our settings and we will go through those later, I believe. Online services. And we'll discuss that at another time, but that's another option on the menu. The user guide obviously is an option, which is nice. And then this last thing on the menu is power off. And you can access this power off option in the menu to power down your unit. You do not have to do that to power down the unit. You can just hold the button, the power button for like two seconds and it powers off. It's really kind of optional. Another thing that we can talk about very briefly is if I chose to enter a menu or cho chose to select an item in this menu, I'm just gonna go back here. Um, I'm going to go to settings and if I wanted to activate or get into the settings, there are a couple of ways I could do it. I could press enter, which is our dot eight. And here I am. It's, um, these are settings here. And if I want to get back out of that, I would do a chord E to escape. And now I'm back in that main menu. Another way to get out, to get in and out is again, I'm focused on settings. If I press a cursor routing key above that word, that's like selecting it. And again, here I am, user settings, and that's in the settings menu. Another way to get back to the main menu is to press this home button, 
very uh, round home button that's on the front in the very middle between the uh, left and right thumb keys. So I'm going to go ahead and press that. That the only um, I guess disadvantage to that is that it not only takes you back to the main menu, but it also takes you to the top of the main menu. So right now I'm focused on editor, but I did want to show you what happened when you activated and got out of a setting or or area in the menu. Um, there are some key combinations that you're uh, going to need to know, and we talked about the first one that I wanted to was the activating a selected item. And escape and going back is always space E. The previous and next item, as we also talked about for the as a review, were the previous and next thumb keys or space dot four to move forward and space dot one to move backwards. To go to the top of the menu, you can either um, touch this um, round button here or you can do dots space with one, two, three, our letter L will take you to the top of the of the menu. However, if you are in a document, you're the only thing that'll work to get to the top of the document or whatever, or the top of the file menu that you are in aside from the main menu is that chord or space with the letter L or one, two, three. To go to the bottom, and I bet you can figure this one out, space dots four, five, six will take you to the bottom of a list menu or document or file. Important thing to know between uh, for your braille is if you need to toggle between your braille grade, you're going to do a backspace, which is your dot seven here with the letter G and that will toggle your braille grade. Now, um, Okay, there we go, it takes a second. Yeah, it takes a second to do that. So now my braille grade in my menus is now in contracted braille. It had been previously in um, uncontracted braille, but I did that on purpose to kind of show you how that works. Um, the battery level, you're going to do an enter with a letter P. So enter with dot eight with a P will get you your battery level and it will say battery and then it's going to give you Whoa, it's, it's, man, we need to kind of adjust how long that stays on there because I wasn't paying attention. Okay, it's going to give you battery and then it'll give you a percentage. Right now it's, whoa, 10%, huh? That can't be right. I wonder if I read it wrong. Nope, I did not read it wrong. It is actually 100% or I did read it wrong. I'm sorry. So yeah, I, I was going to say it charged quite a while. <laughs> See, and it flashes up there. You do not need to hit escape to get out of it. It will stay there a few seconds. And if you're distracted like I am, you ne might need to do it a couple of times because I'm trying to do this and read this display at the same time. Um, anyway, if you want to display system information, it is space with the letter I. And we're really not going to do that right now. We'll come back to that. If you want to display the time, you can do an enter plus the letter T and that displays your time. Enter plus the letter D is in dog, it displays your date. You can um, eject the media, which means if you have a um, SD card back here or a, uh, or a thumb drive here, a lot of people recommend that you eject the media in the device just to, to clear it before you pull the media out. I, I have to admit, I'm very naughty like that. I don't necessarily always do it that way, but really you're, you're supposed to. So to eject your media, press an enter plus the letter E before you pull it out. Just a quick note, all commands that include enter or backspace, you have to use a spacebar with it if you are in computer braille, if you're using computer braille. And we aren't right now, but um, that's why your commands may not work. If you are using computer braille and you can't get maybe your time to show up, that's, that's because you have to do space enter T and not just enter T. So that's it for this installment. I hope it's been helpful for you and uh, please feel free to check out all of our other videos on the chameleon. Thank you.